Hey everybody, The Apologist here, and today I wanted to answer a question that's been bugging me for a little while. What exactly is inside the volcano? So let's take the cover off and see what makes this vape so awesome. You will definitely need a T10 security Torx bit with a hole in the center of the bit if you ever want to see for yourself, but I think this voids your warranty, so I would contact Stortz and Beckel if you really think you need to get inside there. With all three nuts removed, the top dome moves a bit, but not too far. The tolerances on the wires are pretty tight. I just want to take a little peek inside, so I'm not going to be unplugging anything here. Here's the hose system. It comes from the intake, and then that feeds the pump, and then it comes out of the pump, and then it goes into the liquid fail valve, and then out of the fail valve into the heating chamber. The heating chamber is an aluminum block encased in ceramics, which is then wrapped in stainless steel. It's a pretty thick chunk of aluminum with a lot of ceramics around it, so it's no wonder that the heat stays so consistent with the volcano. The air pump looks pretty industrial. That's exactly what I expected to see in the volcano. I hope it lasts for many years, but it does look replaceable. All of the wiring is very well done and all of the components look to be of high quality. The design really isn't that complicated, simplicity definitely won out with outstanding engineering. You can see that your herbs can fall down inside the unit, which is a slight drawback. I think maybe a tighter screen up top might help reduce this and still allow sufficient airflow. A quick brush and an air blast and it's good to go. So just pop the cover back on and we will check the air filter on the bottom and make sure it's still clean. Make sure the flapper valve here looks good and you're ready to rock. To see the full review or learn more about the Volcano Vaporizer, head on over to vaporizersofview.com for more information.